Today I'm making panettone French toast. Before I get into my ingredients and this portion of the video, after this video, I put together a lot of panettone pictures in my local high-end grocery store. You might want to look at that as well, okay? But let's get started. So what I have here is my panettone. I have two eggs. I have a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and a pinch of salt. I have milk and I mean I can only describe the amount of milk I use as a dash. I also have over here my coconut oil. I literally just put it in the pan heating up. Okay so let's get started. Let's add the salt and cinnamon, a dash of milk. Now, if you notice, I'm not adding sugar. Panettones by nature are very sweet, and I will be using maple syrup to garnish it after, so I have no need to add sugar to this mixture. I'm just gonna whisk the mixture. Okay, that should be enough. So here is the box up close. Some of these boxes have really beautiful pictures on them. You'll see some really nice pictures on Panettone boxes at the end of this video. So there it is. You probably know that these come in different sizes and most of them are much bigger. So let's get this opened up. Great. It has candied fruit in it. Some what it looks to be raisin, orange peel. I'm soaking it in the egg mixture. I'm gonna leave that probably for about five minutes to soak. I'm now going to place these slices in the cast iron skillet. Very carefully because they're very, very wet. This will not go to waste, I promise you. Let's turn them over. Perfect. I'm going to place the French toast on a paper towel. That one I think I might cook a couple more minutes. Turn it down a bit. And then I will put it on the plate. This plate is a little worn out, but I like it. Let's add some maple syrup. Now for a taste. This is delicious. I encourage you to give this a try. Enjoy watching the rest of the video.